Hola guys. Is this better? Is this better? All right, washed my digits. Okay, so I made another folio, but I did it a little different this time. I actually added more cheese to my folio, um, some cheddar cheese on top, and then I microwaved it honestly off and on for about two minutes and 10 seconds. Then I put this bad boy in the, in the fridge. I made big guy because I work and he'll come home and I want to make sure he has dinner. So I early this morning put some chicken in the crock pot and it was already done. Um, I have the imitation crab meat. I put some mayonnaise and some um, salt, pepper, and some sour cream. Oh, my mouth is watering. I have a little bit left of my guac. It looks dark, but it's not as dark as it's showing in there. It's still good though. If I put some lemon, it would brighten back up. I have some um, radishes, some bell peppers, some salsa, some tapatio, and some water. So what I'm gonna do, this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put the guac, and it's cold. So it's not gonna melt my folio tostada. I could put beans on here, hamburger, that's what I was gonna do. But I decided I had wanted to use the guac before it went bad. And today would have probably been the last day. So put the guac on there. Mm -mm -mm. Some marinated chicken, which is cooled down. Get up there. Italian towel. Ooh. Now it's delicious. I do have a little bit of. I'm gonna wait on that because I'd rather have some tapatio. I want some more pepper though. God, I have pajama bottoms on. <laughs> All right. Ooh, I probably could have, oh, that wouldn't have been good. Mm. Prayers first. Father God, thank you for this food. Thank you for all my blessings seen and unseen. Forgive me for any sin seen and unseen. Um, bless this food. Let it nourish me and not hurt me. Um, bless all the people watching. Bless that this COVID goes away forever and bless everybody that's been affected by it. And thank you for today. In Jesus' holy gracious name, amen. Yeah, let me pull up. Oh God, the Peppa, the Peppas. Oh, look, it's still, still delish. Mmm. Mmm, it's crunchy and it's working what I want it to do. Some people thought these were potatoes yesterday I was eating. They're like freaking some big radishes. Needs more. Needs more. Poor guys. I think I put too much sour cream in this. Mm -mm -mm. Mm. Maybe I'll make some ceviche and make those folios.
ceviche tacos. Yep. So I tackled some more of that room. Oh, this angle's hard. It's a better for the YouTube video, but the struggle's real. So I do a thumbnail. see how it turns out. Someone asked me in my last video if I burp. Yeah, I burp. I just try not to do it on on a video. Unless it sneaks out on me. I'm going to do a regular tostada and a ceviche. Mmm. Billy cheesesteak. I'm gonna do that one. What else should I do? Pizza. I'm gonna do a pizza. Yes, I am. That's all. I had some extra. Um, I have two more avocados. I need to make them. I can do some mayonnaise, sloppy joe with some cheese on top. I'm doing pizza tomorrow. It's on tomorrow. Look at that. It's all holding up. I think I'm going to do a tostada tomorrow with a little bit of beans. No, it's not keto. But I have a little bit. Sour cream. Some hamburger meat with onions. Beige. Yes. Yes, ma'am. So I got to work today. Room's almost done. But I'm gonna make that my recording. Unless I'm doing mukbangs. Yeah, no. Suck. Sometimes I do a whole video. Either glitches. You upload it and your mouth doesn't go with what you're saying. You're like, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. It's all messed up. Or, for some reason, there's no freaking sound at all. This is good.
want to make some chicken cutlets. Make a big batch. Freeze them. Put in my air fryer. Put some cheese on there. And you can make chicken cutlets with um, almond flour. Yes, ma'am. Oh, no, this is running. It's a hot sauce. I got any story times. I've told you about my mom's siblings. Let me get comfortable. Yeah, they're bowl. Um, so I have an Uncle Jimmy. Well, he's passed. I hope I, I don't even know if I told you the story before. A lot of my mom's side were addicts. But very loyal to family. Um, it was me and my sister. It was in the 1980s. It had to be like 1980. Three, four, two, I don't know. MTV Music Awards, Ryan. Madonna debuted. Like a virgin? I don't know. She did it like live on that one, so that tells you how long ago it was. Anyways, my sister. I don't know where my mom was. But my, me and my sister were sitting there watching MTV Music Awards. And my Uncle Jimmy, you now, back up, reverse. Someone came to the door asking for my mom. And we've seen him there before. So stupidly, though, we let him in. Um. Who's Taking back watching the movie with or the music awards. My uncle Jimmy comes in, shit faced, drunk off his ass, stumbling in the front door. He can play music like no one's business. He did some jail time and he did he could do woodwork and he was very talented. All all that side had really they were really talented. Unfortunately, addicts. Anyways, that doesn't matter. It just so happened he came in, wasted drunk, stumbling in. And he looks, he's like, he looks over. He looks at me, he looks at my sister, and looks at the guy, literally pikes his pants up like this, all drunk, goes like this. Like cracks his neck, hikes back his still toe boot, and kicks this guy in the face. We're like, oh no, Uncle Jimmy! And this guy's like, oh, messing with my nieces, I'm gonna kill you. And we're like, no. Yeah, wasted Uncle Jimmy. Literally almost killed a dude because he thought we he was messing with his nieces. I know he was just watching MTV with us. Mm. I got another story about Uncle Jimmy. Came home. My sister and my mom went to Vegas. Why the frick did I didn't go? I don't even know. But I didn't go. Um, 
I go in the refrigerator. I'm not even kidding. Open it up. I think there was a couple flour corn tortillas. Two top ramens in the in the cupboard. And like this much apple juice. So I'm like, what the hell? So messed up leaving me with nothing. I go take a shower. I have all intentions of making top ramen. Barely any shampoo. Like we're talking water. Well, the mix so I put water in it because it was like done. Scrub my hair. Get out of the shower. Put, you know, put the towel on. Go make my top ramen. This is my luck. I'm cooking the top ramen. I put I put the seasoning packet in there. And I'm stirring. It's almost done. I'm like, oh. So I get some ice. And I put a little bit of water. So I had more apple juice. Filled it up. Had my little apple juice. I look over. And a freaking fly fell right in my top ramen. Again, get it? Most people are like, just pick that fly out. Eat it. Eat it. Eat it. I was pissed. I was like, you got to be kidding me. So, clean the pan. Start all over. Make the last of the top ramen. So, that was done. Get my apple juice. Still have the towel on my head. I go sit down and I'm eating it and I'm like, oh. And I'm watching TV on this little tiny TV. Um, my Uncle Jimmy stumbles in and he goes, what are you doing? So now he's an angry drunk. He's not a protective drunk. He's an angry drunk and he's never angry drunk. Never with us. And I'm like, just watching some TV eating. Um, Because this is the apple juice. So, I'm almost done with my half eaten top ramen. About this much more apple juice. And he goes, What you eating? I told you that. And I said, What you doing? He picks up my apple juice and he goes, Oh, yeah? Boom! And throws it in my face. You want to drink my alcohol? I'm like, well, Jimmy, it was, it was, now I'm all dirty again. No shampoo. The rest of my top ramen is shit. My apple juice is gone. Me and him were fighting the whole night. That was a shit show. And he was never like a, a creepy uncle. He was always a fun, protective uncle. That night, I don't know what he had. There is occasional times where he's an angry drunk. His sister, my aunt Jolene, same house. I don't know if it's before or after. Again, by myself, I don't know where everyone's at. She comes running in. With pizza. Shut the door, lock the door, shut the door, shut the lights off. And I'm like, oh my god, what's going on? We shut everything off. We're literally on the floor. I swear I think I'm gonna die. And she tells me I dined and ditched on a date across the street. And I'm like, oh my god. She goes, well, I don't know. The restaurant's chasing me. Two if he's trying to follow me. I'm like, are you high? And she goes, no, a little drunk. I'm not high. And she goes, she was so drunk. She goes, I got you a pizza. She didn't even say pizza. I got you a pizza. I knew you were here and I got you a pizza. You're, I hooked you up. So I'm like, oh. So I open the pizza box, which is half bent. No pizza in it. I'm like, there's no pizza. 
And she goes, there's pizza. And I'm like, there's no pizza. She goes, shit. I must have fell out when I dumped the fence. I'm like, girl. You can just tell there were pizza. Wow. But it was times like that, like there was a Thanksgiving. Um, my pizza aunt. I was really close with her daughter. We were really close. In fact, one of them lived with us. My mom helped raise one of them. Found out I was home alone on Thanksgiving. No car, but she found somebody to come and get me so I didn't have to spend Thanksgiving by myself. So like I said, very protective toward this. Very dysfunctional. That same aunt and uncle. Different location. About four years later. Ended up going to the bathroom together. To use some druggies. Well, I said they were talking. I knew it was that. And next thing you know, we are arguing and scuffling. Next thing you know, my uncle comes out with the trailer. It's a very narrow, a tiny hall. And my uncle, like, gets out of the bathroom, but more like pushed out of the bathroom when we're looking. And all of a sudden, we see a fist come out, punch him right in the face. He goes actually out the door. So there's the bathroom door the hall and then right behind that is the is a door punched his ass right out the trailer hallway door we were laughing they were fighting over nope he must have got more And I'm not airing out dirty laundry. This was my life. And I can talk about it. Because I love them. I can write a book. Yeah, so I can never eat um, top ramen without thinking of that. Very protective. What are you doing? Mm. My mom. Drove. I might have told you guys these stories before. Drove me. And one of the first boyfriends I had. To a cemetery. Mm -hmm. Yep. In a car that was a Corvair. If you sat in the passenger seat, you couldn't start the driver's seat. It wouldn't start. You had to lift up. I don't even know how she figured that one out. You had to lift your butt up on the passenger seat for the car to start. Again, I don't know how she figured that out. So we'd always have to go like this to start the car. Anyway, she took, I was gonna go to the movies or something like that, I don't remember. I think it was the movies, maybe his house, I don't know. We are in the back seat and she tells us, I gotta do a detour really quick. Why well, I let her drive me drunk, I don't know. I was young, 
that's just what happened. That was a norm. She goes to a cemetery. I'm like, oh, Lord, what is she doing? And ow, that's the only thing I like about these glasses. They stick to my hair, these things, where my other ones didn't have that. Um, so we're at the cemetery, and I'm like, oh, what are you doing? And she goes, leans over, rubs down the window. She looks back. And she tells Peter, Peter, just want to let you know, you see that grave? You see Ed? He died in like 1829. Well, just, just let you know. Has her hand like this and looking back. You fuck with my daughter. You hurt my daughter. Or you hit my daughter or anything. You're going to have like a shallow grave right next to Ed. And I'm like, Ah, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. He's like, no, we're, we're good. <laughs> well, by the time, oh God, here's one more story. I'll keep it at a half hour, so I'll make it quick. The time my mom drove from. One city, which should have took one city to the next, which would took us about an hour and a half. It took us two days. Yep. I think I told you guys this too. I dared her to drive into the lake. That was, we actually made it to my um, aunt's trailer community. Nice one. It had a lake. And well, anyways, I dared her to drive in the lake and she did. Which was yeah, a big mistake. She was drunk. Mind you, let me let me. My mom got sober, worked with doctors, founded a food center, got her shit 110% and made it up to us, like her biggest regret. And one of her big things and I and I'm proud in that same trailer she was using in there and I was telling her I can we could see her like through this little slot and I was like I can see you in there I can see you in there and she says just let me get better and I'll come out just stop you're out there you're making me nervous I'm like I'm watching you how does that make you feel and we would do that all the time to her and we would find her paraphernalia and break it and yeah well that hundredth time of doing that my sister was in the living room and I said you know what fucking die and die. I'm done. Wash my hands with you. Die in there. Whatever. I'm, I'm done doing this with you. I'm done fighting with you. I'm done throwing your shit away. Die. That's what I said. Die in there. I'm not even kidding. By that morning, she checked herself into a facility. And we got a good 20 years of sobriety in her working one in hand with psychologists, doctors, helping people with addiction and mental illness. Again, founding a food center. She was very well liked. We would be like in like another town and people would see her and know who she was. Like she was very well loved and liked. Yeah. So she, so it ended up turning out really, really well. But I could freaking write a book. And it ain't no Laura Ingalls story. All right, guys. It's going to keep it around 30. And it's a minute shy of that. Anyways, I got to get ready for work. I'm going to put some stuff in the dryer, clean my mess up, and I'm completely full. That was filling. But it was delicious. I really need to find out how much carbs are in those. Because I got them in the seafood section at a store. It didn't have a package. I mean, it had the ingredients, but not like the breakdown. So I should call them and ask them. Watch them say like 74 for one. I'd be pissed. I should have put coldest water bottle right here. <laughs> All right. Big meatball loves and hugs. Have a beautiful blessed day. I'm going to try to up upload this right now. Mer, mer, mer. God bless. And until the next time. Doodles. Mer. Bye.